Welcome to the Dennis Report and News Not in the News. March 31st, 2020. Welcome everyone and thanks for tuning in. Our first story, public libraries in New Brunswick show a huge increase in usage. The New Brunswick Institute for Research, Data and Training published a study showing the use of libraries is up 19% over the past 10 years. With a significant spike of some 12,000 or more users from 2015 to 2016. What was not in the news was how libraries did this. By actively engaging their customers, by evoking fond memories of childhood. And by being the biggest, baddest book on the block. Unfortunately, the increased use of libraries has not made much difference in communication. Clearly, there's a problem here. Would you be able to eat the fudge after reading the sign? And what about who packed it? Now, can it be made any clearer? No diving, right? And yet, there he is, playing Jacques Cousteau. Slowly I swam through the murky depths. But now, check this out. One step away from being President of the United States. And that urge to touch when told not to. Uh-uh-uh. Like when you were a kid and your parents kept telling you, Now, Michael, don't touch yourself. Michael would be like, Yeah, Mom, promise I won't. In other news, not in the news, New Brunswick allows hunting on Sundays from Labor Day all the way to the start of the new year. What? Mike Holland, Minister of Natural Resources, hopes to expand on the 110,000 hunting and fishing licenses currently sold each year. And he adds this piece, introduce a whole new group of people to our outdoor pursuits. That from CBC in November 27, 2019. But meanwhile, since 2017, New Brunswick has promoted the fall shoulder season for tourism. Tens of thousands of tourists come to New Brunswick between Labor Day and the end of October to see our natural wonders, take in the fall colors, and enjoy our great outdoor trail system, waterfalls, and just take in nature in general. It is high season for cruise ships. Travel corporations show a trend for increased bookings. So now, let's go back to Mike Holland and take a look at his campaign photo. How many candidates do you know wear a ball cap and camouflage in their campaign poster? And doesn't he look like PETA from the Hunger Games? So what will happen when these two economic strategies collide? Expanded tourist season, tens of thousands of tourists, new group of people to outdoor pursuits, Sunday hunting. Wow, welcome to the Hunger Games, New Brunswick style. Well, no one's happier than Bill down in Wellsford, just outside St. John. Got my beer, got my hunting cap, have a Sunday soak in the tub, and all them tourists out and taking in the fall colors. Just can't get any better than that. Finally, and staying with the province's economic growth strategy, News Not in the News has learned the provincial government has quietly worked on a new tool system for provincial highways. At a secret facility, the Made in New Brunswick design is being tested with limited success to date. Unconfirmed reports identify opportunities New Brunswick is looking to recruit Help from former managers of Joy Scientific, Cannabis NB, and Atcon. That's all the news not in the news for today. New Brunswick, be in this place. The Dennis Report is made in New Brunswick for New Brunswick. And it counts on people like you to support the show. Think of it as buying local. There's no other program that brings you in-depth, authentic conversations specific to our province. So... To support the show, go to thedentistreport.ca and click on Patreon or PayPal. 
Our independence allows us to wander into all the corners and conversations our province needs to hear. And we get to have a bit of fun too.